But first at 6, the U.S. Postal Service puts the Dayton Processing Center back on the chopping block. So we're asking about the consequences for our community. Not only are jobs at risk, but your mail could also be delayed. Jordan Burgess questioning postal officials about this potential fallout. Months ago, Postal Service officials told us that the closure of this processing center here in Dayton was on hold indefinitely. So what changed and what will the consequences be if officials follow through this time? News they weren't ready to deliver. It was more than surprising. It was blindsiding. Those with the Dayton Postal Workers Union say they were caught off guard by the decision to close the Dayton Processing Center. The center was first set to close in February of 2013, but that never happened. And those with the union thought it had been taken off the closure list. Any idea why now? We have no idea, actually, because we are still under the same circumstances that we were two years ago when this started. On its website, the Postal Service says the move to close Dayton and 81 other processing facilities is a way to save money. But what will it mean for your mail? Is this going to delay service? It's already being delayed and it's going to make it worse. The Postal Service admits mail will be delayed, saying first class delivery will go from 2.14 days to 2.25 days nationwide. But those with the union say the impact will be worse than that here. They also don't know what will happen to the roughly 300 workers at the center. If everything's in the air, they don't know when, they don't know how, they don't know if. But union officials say what's certain is that if the center closes, it will be shuttered for good. It's not going to be a do over. It's not coming back. Once it's gone, it's gone. And the Postal Service says the closure could come as soon as January. They hope to have all of the closures done by the fall of next year. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.